Like that hard part next to the knee. Everything else was alright. Jesus Christ, I'm so fucking glad she came. Hey you guys, thank you so much for following along with my journey. This has been such a crazy experience and I'm grateful for every second of it and I'm grateful for all the support and love that you guys have shown me throughout the process. So I just want to say thank you for that. So yeah, my first fight, <laughs> this shit was crazy. It was so much more intense than anything I ever anticipated. I feel a bit naive for that <laughs> reason because the moment I walked into that ring, it was game on. Honestly, I was feeling a little bit guilty about the size difference, but she put on a fight and while I was in it, I felt like I was in a fight. I felt like I had to defend myself and I had to protect myself. So at the end of the day, you have to fight whoever they put in front of you. She had 20 plus fights. That was my first fight. So I think it was even in that sense. Yeah, so upon going to the fight, I was so nervous. I mean, so nervous the, first, the few days before. I've been doing this like crazy laughter where I'm just like, feel like a maniac going into my first fight with no gear and in Thailand against a really experienced opponent. <laughs> like I just feel like a crazy person. <laughs> Um, but it was a really great experience. I was nervous as shit before the fight. I peed like a hundred times and like, I don't know. I just like had trouble controlling myself. Then when I got into the ring, everything just kind of came natural. Um, all I really remember is her face like, ha, ah, ah, ha, punching me and me kind of snapping her head back. I remember a few kicks here or there. Um, she didn't hurt me too much, but the next day I definitely felt my jaw, my right shoulder shin was a little beat up because of a shin to shin kick that we had twice or block I should say and but overall I felt really good after the fight and I felt really proud at, like directly after the fight I felt really proud of myself I was so happy that she didn't want a fourth round because like Sean had said it was really going into deep waters and the end of that third round I tell you what I could have quit right there my mind was like Liz get the fuck out of this ring right the fuck now <laughs> but as you can see, like I, I don't know if you can see it in this video but there's video of me walking out for the fourth round when the ref tells me to go back so my body was literally ready to fight. My mind was ready to run the fuck out of that place. And it's just amazing to see that, see how far you can push yourself, especially when your mind maybe not be on board, but your body is like, oh, we're trained for this. We've been trained to do this. Like we're doing it. No, it was just an amazing experience. I was freaking exhausted, like so, so tired. Um, I've never been that tired. I. It was so intense. I, it was a total dump of adrenaline and emotions and energy. And I felt, I just, the next day, I felt really grateful for the experience. We got to hang out at the beach at a beautiful beach bar hangout spot. And it just felt so good. I'm happy I got the win. I'm happy for the experience. Don't ask me when my next fight is because probably never, but you know, I can say that now and you know, a few months maybe want to take another fight. We'll see. <laughs> thank you guys again for following me. I really appreciate the love and support. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope this inspires you to, even if it's not fight, but just kind of do whatever might be scaring you. Face the dark water, face the deep water, and dive right in. Win or lose, it would have been a great experience either way. And yeah, if you enjoyed following this, keep following me on Instagram at fierce.self. I got a lot of good things coming out. I'll be coming out with my podcast, Fiercely Free Life, really soon. Plus some um, coaching programs that I have in the works. So yeah, thank you guys so much. So much love. See you.